Kila Ribol TV, ikoni ya mulu duwa kokoton gbea shati ishe le yoruba laruge. Totally or directly connected to the allegation that we are investigating. And this of course, I must emphasize, includes witnesses. In this regard, please let me emphasize that we are not undertaking a media trial. And criminal investigation and prosecution entails the support of the public in terms of volunteering uh, pieces of evidence, no matter the quality. We appreciate that if such is now made practically available to the investigation team to aid us in the investigation. We have seen a lot on the social media, videos, allegations. Now we are getting into the practicals. We need anybody, any citizen, any well-meaning citizen that is truly, truly committed to ensuring justice for Mubad. To now come, come over to the police, the investigation team, volunteer these pieces of vital information, in support of a detailed uh, investigation. This, to me, is the only way we can truly, truly give meaning to our determination to ensure justice for him. So the team will identify every character, every element that has been linked in one way or the other to this crime with a view to getting to establish their extent of liability or innocence. Furthermore, the team will engage in the exhumation, autopsy, visit to the crime scenes, hospitals, and past records that might be vital towards establishing the facts in relation to the case under investigation. In this regard, we do appreciate that a homicide investigation of this case could be complex, could be technical, but we draw confidence in the fact that the governor of Lagos State, Governor Babajide Sanwolu, has assured us that he will give whatever support we might need from the states in order to aid our drive for justice and for a very conclusive and professionally delivered investigation process. We will leverage on this. We also leverage on the goodwill that the Inspector General of Police has promised to also extend to us. So you can be sure that we, the team will deliver a thoroughly professional and open investigation. But like we said, this can only be achieved with the support of all citizens. And we continue to appeal for this support. The time frame, we do believe that within the next two weeks, an interim report that will give a clear direction to this uh, investigation will be submitted. And where, as much as legally and professionally permissible, we will continue to share the progress of the investigation with members of the public. The membership of the special investigation team, which, as you know, will be domiciled in the homicide section of the state uh, criminal investigation department of the Lagos State Police Command with the following membership. Detective as ACP Sahid Kazim, that is the twice C state CID, who head the special investigation team. Detective CSP Chris Oyesi, a seasoned homicide detective, will be 
we lead one of the teams. Within this team, we have sub teams, four sub teams to take care of specific areas the forensic, the technical, the medical, and the practical investigation. So we have seasoned homicide officers to head each of these sub teams. So CSP Chris Oyesi will head team one or unit one within the team. Detective Superintendent Master Alaji Bunu will head unit two. Detective Superintendent Ibrahim A. Yusuf will head unit three as team leader. And Detective DSP Ahmed Abdullahi will head unit four as team leader. Other members of the team include Detective ASP Odeni De Gafar, Detective ASP Alabi Bolanle, Detective ASP Mohamed Yusuf, Detective Inspector Adeshida Adefishayo, Detective Inspector Ahmed Michael, Detective Inspector Olisa Rosley. Detective Inspector Mayawa Uweye and Detective Inspector Babatunde Victor. In order to ensure that their operation, their investigation is carried out within the context of the law, we have a special legal team that we work with them, comprising of Superintendent Kadoso Yetunde Esquire, the OC Lega, who will head the legal team. Barrister Umar Belu, DSP, legal officer. Barrister Augustine Nwabusi, legal officer. The three of them will work closely and follow the sequence of uh, investigation to make sure they are situated properly within the legal dictates. We also work with a special forensic team that will aid in the forensic component of the investigation and the forensic team comprises of Detective CSP Aitu Akpama, Detective Inspector Elizabeth Olokode, and Detective Inspector Queen Agofri. Like I said, what we have done, what we are doing this morning, is to present a common front. That is why you have here the father and other family members of the deceased who have come over to signify their intention to work closely with the police in order to ensure that the investigative goals are achieved. So at this moment, I wish to appeal that much as social media could be helpful we should now refocus any pieces of evidence that we said we could assist us. We should redirect to the investigation team instead of reducing it to the social media frenzy. It will not help at this moment. The grieving family needs succor. They need space. They need sympathy to mourn. They need to respect their space at this time. The best I think we can do for them is to now work with the police, work with the family, in order to assist us to get justice in this case. The team have been they've been charged to hit the ground running immediately, and as soon as this inauguration is concluded, their tasks have been set out, and they, you will start seeing progress from today. So on this note, I thank you and of course I will keep relying on Kilari Ball TV, Ikonia Mulubu Akokotong Biasha, Tishele Yoruba Laruge.